Joining me now, Wisconsin Congressman Brian Stile. He is the chairman of the Committee on House Administration Committee and the Financial Services Committee as well. Congressman, good morning. Thanks for having me on. Nice to see you here uh, on our set. So, yes, there is a lot on your plate when you return to Washington tomorrow. Absolutely. We got to do a lot of stuff in a short amount of time. We got to maintain that the government's funded. That'll give us the window to pass these appropriations bills and undo a lot of the Democratic policies that were put in place during Democratic one party control. We also have to continue on our work of investigating the Biden administration and exposing for the American people what this president has been up to in his two and a half years in office. And so a lot of work in a short amount of time. Are you worried about a shutdown? And the American people are. I'm concerned about it, but we've navigated through difficult situations before. A lot of the American people thought we couldn't address the debt ceiling. We did, and we did that while cutting spending. And so this is our next challenge in front of us, but I'm optimistic that at the end of the day, we're going to be able to keep the government open, navigate through the 12 appropriations bills, and then get on with the work of the American but people. But how does that play for, for Kevin McCarthy? Because he's got to navigate, well, several things tomorrow. His plate is full. But you've got, you've got the financial side, and then you've got the inquiry, the impeachment inquiry. So you've got some members that really want to see the impeachment move forward against the president and other members that really want to push forward and deal with the budget, with the, with the CR. Where do you stand on those two issues? You, you might be caught in the middle here. It sir. was Republicans. I think what's <laughs> important here is we walk and chew gum at the same time. And so continuing the investigation into President Biden, I think, is completely appropriate. We can do that. We lose the focus, though, if we enter a shutdown. And so keeping the government open and operational while we negotiate these, negotiate these incredibly important 12 spending bills is going to be absolutely essential. Okay. I think, I think that's incredibly well said, that you cannot have everybody, all the liberal media is going to basically land on this idea of a government shutdown yeah. if you even go close to that. How uh, comfortable will the Freedom Caucus be with uh, a CR, continuing resolution, to keep the government funded while you work on those bills, do you think? I think you're exactly right. If we enter a shutdown period, what we're going to see is the legacy media focus solely on that and continue to sweep yeah. all of what President Biden has done under the rug. I think we have an opportunity, though, to champion conservative wins in these spending bills. We can actually put forward funds to secure the border. When you have the mayor of New York City coming out and saying the president's policies on the border are a disaster, you know that the president's in tough water. We can actually put forward conservative policies in these spending bills, and I think that will bring across the table all the conservatives in the House. So President Biden uh, had made some very bizarre comments uh, during this press conference. He's been overseas, as you know. He was in Vietnam. His staffers had to basically cut him off. I want you to watch this and respond. One of my staff members said, remember the famous song, you know, good morning, Vietnam. Well, good evening, Vietnam. My brother loves having there's famous lines from movies that he always quotes. You know, and one of them is there's, there's a movie about John Wayne. He's an Indian scout. The Indian looks at John Wayne and points to the Union so says, he's a lion dog-faced pony soldier. Well, there's a lot of lion dog-faced pony soldiers out there about, about global warming, but not anymore. I'm just following my orders here. Staff, if anybody haven't spoken to, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. You came up to me thank, thank you, everybody. This ends the count press Bye. conference. Congressman. An absolute complete disaster of a press conference for President Biden in Vietnam. He ends by saying he wants to go to bed. This president doesn't have the stamina for the job. He's incapable of leading the country forward. And the policies he does put forward are disasters for the American people. It's all the more reason we got to make sure he's not reelected in 24. Um, I want to get your take on cognitive testing, because it's pretty apparent as you watch President Biden, then you throw in Mitch McConnell, uh, Feinstein, Fetterman. Nikki Haley has been advocating cognitive testing, I think just for age 75 and up, but I'd love to get your take on that. I don't have a problem doing it for everybody. I yeah. think we got a lot of people in Washington, D.C. that aren't up to the job that's been given to them. You see it with President Biden. That press conference in Vietnam was absolutely abysmal. Uh, we need to make sure that we're getting far better people in office than we've seen. But there's concerns about Mitch McConnell, too. This is definitely on both sides of the aisle. It's Dianne Feinstein. It's Mitch McConnell. Uh, it, there's, there's other people in Congress at this point that might be needing to 
get this type of testing. Oh, we, we, to be polite, we, without, a, without a doubt. I mean, there's a reason there's a mandatory retirement age for airline pilots. Uh, yeah, this right. Is maybe something we should start thinking about in Congress. Yeah, yeah. All right, Congressman. Well, certainly it's good to have you here uh, on September 11th, by the way. So we thank you for being here, and uh, we look forward to hearing what happens tomorrow. Thank you. Back to work. <laughs> we, we need to get back Did you to have work. a good summer? Did you enjoy your recess? I was incredibly busy in Wisconsin <laughs> running around talking with constituents, right. which is great. All right. Congressman Brian Stiles, good to see you, sir. Thank you.